Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Panda Pops and I like to bring you blockchain gaming and crypto related content. A few days ago Axie Infinity announced Roan Index. I did do a video talking about Roan Index and what all that means and the general announcement that they put out. If you want to check that out it will be up there and in the description as well. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going on to Katana where we can swap our SLP, AXS, whatever you want to a different currency. So we're going to be using the, the Roan Index to be able to swap, uh, swap that out. I'm going to show you about liquidity pools. I'm not going to be going real in-depth on liquidity pools, but if you would like a more in-depth video, do leave a comment down below stating that with me talking more about what liquidity pools are then we're going to be talking about the farming aspect on the katana site as well so um we're gonna get into this if you are new here don't forget to subscribe hit that like button i really really do appreciate it and turn the notification bell on so you get notified when i upload brand new videos let's go so right here we're on katana that's the site. Everything's going to be linked in the description. So if you want to be able to get the correct links to the sites, to the Axie Discord, uh, their Twitter and all that, plus all my socials will be down in the description. So check that out. Um, but for now, we're just going to be looking. We're going to start with looking at swapping. I have already swapped what I wanted to swap. I was going to do it along with you, but I actually I started recording the video and didn't do my transition so the whole time it was on the start page and you couldn't see anything that I was doing so I'm just going to be talking you through it rather than actually showing you so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to connect your Ronin wallet if you don't have a Ronin wallet you will need to set that up I'm not going to go through that in this video um so if that's something you need to do then check out some earlier videos or um read the document that Axie has provided to talk you through just that aspect. We're going to connect. So we're now connected. As I said, I've already used, um, I've already done my swap. So I do still have some SLP. I like to keep some ready for breeding. If I get a good, good, um, some good axes that I really want to breed together rather than buying. So um, what you would do is to swap, you would choose whatever you want to swap. Most of you will most likely be wanting to swap your SLP. So SLP, especially scholars. To then you can choose whether you want to exchange it to wrapped ETH, AXS, uh, USDC, and in the future to RON. Now RON is going to be what um, is going to be like the gas fee behind the transactions right now we have three transactions we get 100 a day um that will i i believe that's going to go and it we're just going to be using ron for our transactions i i'm probably under the impression a lot of people are going to be doing slp to wrapped eth purely because um i i think a lot of people will be wanting to do that to but if you're a scholar to be able to buy your own team and be able to keep 100 percent of that slp that you're grinding or to expand your team um i think that's what a lot of us would be going for so if you just put the amount now if you're doing it so you can provide to a liquidity pool let's say for example you've got about ten thousand slp i would suggest exchanging a little under half of that or exactly half so you do 5000 slp and you'll get 5000 eth worth of slp and yeah you do the swap right here it will show you everything to do with the swap that you're doing you can click to update the price if the price drastically changes you'll have to do that before clicking confirm swap you'll click confirm swap and you'll get a pop-up from your wallet saying to confirm this you'll need to click that and once you've done that then uh you you just wait a little while for the transaction to go through there has been a case at least when it first came out that it was failing a couple of times for people or failing once so just double check that after about five ten minutes if you haven't seen that your slp has gone down and that you've got wrapped ETH or whatever you're exchanging it to then just try the transaction again um now we're going to go over to the pool 
So this is where you're going to want to add liquidity. So you need to pair them. Right now, um, I would suggest really selecting sort of like SLP and wrapped ETH. For me, there's two reasons. I reckon there's going to be more transactions done on that side. I reckon more people are going to be cashing out their SLP to wrapped ETH, which is one main thing. The other is um, there's a thing called impermanent loss. Now, I don't want to go too much into this, but there is a chance of the uh, liquidity pools are high risk. So from my perspective, uh, I grind SLP playing the game. Most of the wrapped ETH I have is what I've cashed from my SLP. So in my mind, it's all kind of like SLP. And so I feel like it's less risk for me because I can always earn more SLP and transfer it over. So that feels less risky compared to my AXS. Yes, in seasons, we can get season rewards of AXS. I'm not that competitive. I don't play Axie competitive competitively. I play it for fun and enjoyment. And if I do well, I do well. And if I don't, I don't. So I'm not one of those people getting a lot of AXS from doing the seasons. I have to purchase my AXS. So to me, this seems less risky for me personally. Now, obviously, it's not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor and you need to assess what's right for you. I'm just pointing out my method of thinking and how I'm looking at it. So you would put in however much you want to put in and you would click supply. You'll get another pop up and you'll click on that. Um, and then that then you have added liquidity, you're in a liquidity pool. Now to start farming, and this is to farm Ron, the, the, the currency that is going to be used as the gas fee for um, transfers and exchanges on Ronin. So it could be a very good idea to be getting, getting some of that um, to be farming. So what you need to do is you need to uh, supply from your liquidity pool. So you need to put into a liquidity pool and then you need to then to stake that uh, for farming. So I've not got that much in there. Like I said, I wanted to keep some SLP for breeding. I actually chose to cash more of my SLP into wrapped ETH just so I could purchase some more axes as well. So my SLP went towards buying some axes and then also going towards going towards this liquidity pool. So that's why I didn't do as much as I could or probably should have done. I'm OK with that. I will be grinding uh, SLP and doing a little bit more of this. And they've made it super simple to just do all of it. Um, it can be a lot of like you're going through them. So luckily they're cut. They're pretty much in order for you. So when you go on, you've got your SLP that you want to swap. You'll swap that, and then you move on to your liquidity. You do that, and then you move over to farm, and then you go and do that. It's all very nice in order. I like it. Um, for all of this, you do need to be logged into your wallet to do all of these. Uh, you would click stake and uh, pop up and it'll stake. Uh, click confirm. Uh, you can unstake at any point. So if you choose that you want to take this out or whatever, you can unstake that. There is no um, limited time for this to be staked in. Now, I kind of like the idea of maybe making it so when you stake, it has to be locked up for a minimum of a week or two. But that's just my personal opinion. Maybe other people will agree, people will disagree, and each to their own. But that's just what I think. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do have any questions, feel like I haven't covered something, uh, do let me know down in the comments and I will answer any of your questions if I am able to. Uh, I've tried to keep this short and sweet. It is fairly simple. It can be a little bit unnerving when you're doing these sort of transactions. But the really good thing that I do like about um, Axie and Ronin, Sky Mavis, is that they, they've made it all, they want to make it all so you're just doing it there. So if 
you only want to play Axie, it's all there rather than sort of going through a lot of moving from one wallet to another wallet to another place to another place. At least it's all in this one area. And I feel personally that it's a little less intimidating for new people when it's all in one place rather than having that nervous feeling of moving something from like A to B all the way onto a different chain. It can be a little bit unsettling. So at least this is all together and hopefully a lot of new people find this video helpful. If you are new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. I really, really do appreciate it. Every single one of you that subscribes, much appreciation. Also, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that like button and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload brand new videos. If you would like to know a little bit more about Ronin, then check out my video on Ronin. And if you want to know a little bit more about blockchain gaming, then check out this video. As always, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Goodbye.